Hi folks, welcome to the end of the course. Congratulations on your persistence and based on the quality of your writing, I would say congratulations on your good work. I appreciate your diligence and your effort. You know, most people when they begin English 101 tell me, um, you know, I'm just, I'm just not a writer. I think it's a very common sentiment. Writing is hard for everyone. But as with anything, as with college, uh, certainly as with English 101 and writing, uh, it's a lot more about persistence and grit and, and diligence than it is about any individual aptitude or talent. So each of you uh, is talented in, in a unique way, uh, but everybody has the ability to improve his or her writing style and to improve his ability or her ability to write well and to express uh, ideas clearly and persuasively in writing. And that's the goal of the course, is, is to give you tools that you can use all your college classes and beyond. So I just want to emphasize that as we conclude uh, this week and we, include, we conclude this course and you push through that final research project revision, I want to emphasize that I want to be a resource for you. I've given you my feedback and you have several days to incorporate that. Make use of the Academic Support Center when it opens on Wednesday and remains open through to the end of the course. And, uh, and, and text me or message me in Canvas or send me an email. Get in touch with me. I am happy to have phone conversations and to interact with you and look at for further revisions of your paper if necessary. Whatever I can do to help out, uh, I'm available for that. Okay. A few notes here in week eight as we conclude the research paper. That's a, that's a lot of words. You don't have to write them down. Um, but take a look at this chart of logical fallacies, errors people commit in reasoning and logic. And it undermines arguments. Think, think about straw man at the top left, misrepresenting someone's argument to make it easier to attack. All right. My wife says, you know, hey, you don't often take out the trash. And I say, you're telling me I never take out the trash? I took out the trash a month ago. Well, no, she didn't say that. I misrepresented the argument in order to make myself right. It's too easy to do. It's important, rather, to carefully and thoughtfully represent an opposing view so that you understand it fully. And it actually makes your argument stronger if you can explain why, even though you fully understand the opposing view and you respect it in its integrity, you still hold to your own perspective. Okay? Slippery slope just beneath that, asserting that if we allow A to happen, Z will consequently happen too. Therefore, A should not happen. All right. That's like saying, okay, if just one student submits an assignment late and I allow it, pretty soon... All the students are going to be submitting their papers late, and the class will descend into chaos. Well, th there's value in having firm principles and guidelines, but if just one student has a circumstance that, that I deem reasonable for a late paper, Okay? It doesn't necessarily mean I have to make that decision ever again for that student or any other student. Sometimes flexibility is important. And it doesn't necessarily mean the slippery slip scenario will happen. Okay? So take a look at these. Uh, it's valuable to make sure that you aren't making these errors. It's also valuable to make sure that you don't see them in your opponents. Because if you can find uh, logical fallacies in your, in your opponent's writing, when you're in your opponent's thinking, it makes your argument stronger to point that out. That'll be part of what we look at with various resources this week. Okay, staying on track to thoroughly revise your research paper. Okay, this two-week pattern that we're in. It is to emphasize the value of pre-writing, planning, and revision. So week one is pre-writing and planning. Week two is, is the revision process. That's important because most people think of writing as the act of putting pen to paper, typing up that paper. And for too many students, it's just write the paper, submit it, okay, or write the paper, print it. And instead of that, part of what English 101 teaches is that all the steps that happen and what you're learning, what you're researching, what you're outlining, what you're pre-writing and brainstorming, that is at least as important as the writing process. And in the same way, so is all the revision. Carefully, repeatedly, revise, get additional feedback. 
because it's what you do in the polishing and in the planning phases that really makes for good writing, not just the, the initial draft. For finishing the research project, make sure you use the Academic Support Center, the tutoring, read my comments in the margin of your draft, submit that final paper by midnight on March 20th, and reflect in the final thoughts forum on March 21st. Okay, as always, write from hook to light bulb. Support your thesis in every paragraph. Okay. So right here in the introduction, that bright yellow thesis, make sure you have a persuasive argument that others could disagree with. Also, make sure that you've hooked your reader in some way, something to grab your reader's attention. Keep them reading. Finally, in the conclusion, is there a light bulb, a why this matters, a so what, uh, some sort of deep thought to leave your reader thinking long after putting down the paper. And then in between, in the body, every paragraph should in some way support the thesis statement. That's what we have here in Roman numerals 2, 3, and 4. <clears throat> Main ideas in support of the thesis statement. That's the purpose of that. Okay, this opposing viewpoint, Roman numeral 5 down here, I have a whole slide to, to, to emphasize this and highlight the value. Do not forget to include and refute an opposing viewpoint in your paper. The intersection of my way and your way, the intersection of other views, alternative perspectives. This could mean that, you know, uh, for example, CIT uh, is too expensive or it puts officers at risk if they spend too much time reflecting and thinking and talking to people who could be dangerous. Uh, or there is sufficient training already in place for officers, so additional training is not necessary for dealing with mental health uh, sufferers. Up to you what your opposing viewpoint is, but make sure there's that alternative perspective, another angle that challenges your own thesis in some way. And then you explain why your thesis is still valid. Okay. So I challenge you to incorporate at least five good sentence builder templates into that paper. It will elevate the quality of your writing. Take it from B to A or C to B. Okay, I've, I've highlighted seven or so that I think are really important. Six, it looks like. Capturing authorial action, introducing and explaining quotations, agreeing and disagreeing simultaneously, entertaining objections, establishing why your claims matter, commonly used transitions. Each of these is available in that Good Sentence Builders PDF document, which is in the supplemental resources of your section of your, of your class. So pull it open and, and use some of these uh, and it, it'll boost the quality and caliber of your writing. I appreciate that some of you are already doing this. All right, finally, do your best. Reflect upon all that you've learned. These concepts and skills that we've been studying will be useful to you throughout your college career and beyond, I hope. Okay. Things like understanding the rhetorical situation, the context within which you write. APA formatting, American Psychological Association. Other classes may require MLA, Modern Language Association, or Chicago style, Turabian. There are multiple different styles for academic writing. You would understand it a little bit more if you were in publishing. It's driven a lot by the publishing industry. and It's also driven by the need to accurately give credit where credit is due. Brainstorming and outlining. Critical for successful writing. We studied narrative, reflection, annotated bibliography, persuasive or argumentative writing. We've emphasized the importance of peer reviewing in the learning process and in the writing process, and revision. The five paragraph essay structure can serve as a model for you in every class. It's not, it's a guideline, it's not a restriction. And the use of opposing views and persuasive writing to sharpen and hone and, and, and uh, to, to really make your own, own argument stronger. Corrected varied sentence structure is critical for author cred credibility uh, and creativity. Proper punctuation is important. Writer's voice should be developed. You should be infusing some of your own personality in your writing, making it unique. Remember Aristotle's principles for rhetoric, logos, uh, the logic of your writing, the organization and structure, the pathos, the emotional appeal, the ethos, uh, your own integrity uh, uh, as a writer. Unity in academic writing is that thesis or that main view, viewpoint threaded all the way through your paper beginning to end. Have you identified and avoided logical fallacies? Okay. So finally, thank you for your good work. Please use me as a resource. I am here and available for you. It has been my privilege 
to share the course with you. And I just want to remind you that uh, the 20th is that last assignment and that between now and then, I'm available by text and in Canvas. And if there's anything I can do, reach out. My best to you.